Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are bringing you another sparring rolling session featuring one of my black belt teammates, Professor Vince. So right here, I'm kind of staying away and I'm changing my levels because I want him to expose that left leg forward and go for a low single. So I put my hand in his face to get him off balance and try to go for that low single. I'm not able to get it. So I immediately swivel my legs back under me and stand back up. Vince has a very good daily Heva spider X game. Uh, he's very, very good at the leg entanglement. So I'm trying to just keep it on the feet as much as possible, get the takedown and in initiate my game. So right here, I almost get the collar drag, but he's able to kind of put his knee into my chest and then stand back up. So now that I'm standing, he's going to get to pull into the De La Hiva. So his left leg is now going to become that De La Hiva hook, and his right leg is playing uh, in between my legs, kind of using it as a distance, distance management tool. So right here, I'm going to start trying to do my tried and true passing attempts. So what I want to do is break that De La Hiva grip. That's why I switched my grips there. But uh, Vince is able to kind of elevate me because his De La Hiva hook is very, very tight. So I had to flare my leg out, my right leg out, and now I can start getting into this over under position, which is something that you know if you watch the channel, that's something that I go for all the time. Now that I'm in this over under position, my left arm is flared at a 90 degree angle, which I talk about leads you to getting comored. Fortunately for me, Vince has a grip of my sleeve and his second grip is occupied on my pant leg. So I'm not really in danger of the figure four Kimura because he needs one of his arms to be free to reach over and get it. So now that I step my leg over, I'm gonna start shelving his right leg onto my leg in a combat stance. That's gonna lift his hips off the ground and prevent him from recovering the guard. His hips are now no longer on the ground. He can't really recover the guard. But my mistake here is that I give him too much space. And when I try to solidify the side control, he's able to bring that right knee in and start getting like an inverted position. And he's able to square back up and get his guard back in front of him. But that's something that I like to do. I like to shelf people's legs onto my leg and get their hips off the ground. So that way I can solidify the pass. I just made a, a small mistake there by giving too much space. So right here, I try to go for a step through pass. And now I'm starting to set up that over under once again. Like I said, over under is something that I really, really go for a lot of the times because it's one of my favorite passes and there's so many ways to get into it and it keeps me glued to my opponent. I like to pass where I'm super glued to the opponent. So Vince is going to start playing a spider guard position. He's got this spider on his right side and now he's going for the lasso on his left. When he doesn't get it right away, he's going to go for a shin to shin. I fall to my hip so I can bring that foot out and when I come back into the combat stance, he's got a deep lasso on the left and the spider guard on the right. As you can see by his foot on my back, it's pretty, pretty deep. So now I'm going to start standing because I need to figure out how I want to break these grips. Vince is going to actually start moving to his left side because he wants to hook the leg. And when I realize that, I'm going to step my leg out. And now he only has the spider hook. And I'm trying to walk around the guard. When I'm not able to, I'm going to open up his legs and then dive back into the over-under position. Now that I'm in the over-under position, I'm going to step my right foot through and then pass the guard. But he's able to bring his left leg over and then re-square up. And now he's back in the position that he was in with the spider position, except he doesn't have the lasso now. Now that he's in the spider, he's going to elect for that shin to shin on his left side. Once he tries to get that, I'm going to fall to my hip, relieve my shin, and then try to come up. But he extends that spider grip, and now his head is above my head. And I'm not able to free my leg fast enough to come up into him, and he's able to get the sweep. But I'm not going to just hang out here because Vince has a very, very dominant knee slide position. So I'm going to get right into the deep half guard position, tuck my arm so he can't go for the Kimura, and then I'm going to start sweeping him and try to take the back. So I'm going to turn into him here. He's able to stop me and basically flatten me out and stop me from wrestling up. I'm going to go belly down. He's going to rock around to the back. He's going to try to take my back. I'm going to control his right foot and then turn into him and come right back up onto my feet. So that was a huge sequence right there where I literally had to basically try to sweep, defend his counter to my counter, and then defend the back take and then stand back up. Now that I'm standing, I really need to deal with this spider guard position that he's playing, but he elects to start playing a single leg X spider where his left leg is making the X single leg X and his right leg is making the spider. So I elect for a leg drag, not really able to solidify that position. And now his right leg is across my midsection and he's going to start putting his left leg in for the X. And now he's extending me out for the full X position. So I'm in a lot of danger here because if he gets under me, he's going to be able to sweep me and then, or possibly take my back. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my weight into my left leg and trying to make my right leg really, really light because I know he wants to get under me and that's the type of position that Vince usually plays. But he's going to start electing to try to push me over because my weight is on that side and try to stand up. But when he tries to get up, I'm able to free my leg and I 
switch my hips pretty quickly and then come back up. And now I need to start my offense. I can't let him start setting up any of these positions once again. He's trying to get for that, go for that shin, and he's able to grab it. And now he's setting up the single leg X position once again. And now he's able to kind of get into this full X and try to start taking the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fall and try to grab his knee to go for the knee bar. But as you can see, his knee is past where it needs to be for that move to be effective. He comes up on top for the sweep. So I immediately get into a 50-50 position and then I come up and sweep him right back. So I knew I was in a dangerous position when my back was exposed and he had the full on X. So I tried to go for the knee bar just to set something up, see if I could get it or set up a scramble. He's able to come up on top and I transition right into the 50-50. So right here, now that I'm in the 50-50 position, I'm just going to try to stabilize and stay there because there's not too much time left in the round. He's able to get like a lasso position, almost get me to my back, but I switch my hips once again and stay up for the rest of the round. And that's going to be how we finish here. So let's get right into this takeaway. When you're passing or playing from your knees, you need to be mindful of positions where people can extend you out. As you can see here, Vince is able to kind of extend me with that spider guard position. And I have base on my knees, but at a certain point, I get thrown over that plane and it becomes very, very difficult for me to come back up. So when you're playing from your knees, be mindful of positions that extend you, overly extend you in one or the other direction and try to opt for playing on your feet. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting the channel. It truly means more than you know. Now we're winding down on our Logic BJJ content and we will soon be filming at a new gym with new people and new games. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.